Here you go. Hi, my name's Hadi. I'm going to be making a cauliflower curry today. I'm going to be making it from scratch. I'm going to show you some quick and easy ways to do this. Um, the, but the main thing, message I want to get across is we don't have to have a lot of time, don't need a lot of money, and you know this stuff is really healthy, so give it a go. Right, so the first thing we've done is we peeled two, um, one onion. We're going to peel the other one now. And I like to do these things as I go along, just so you can see how little time it takes to do stuff. And also, some people don't really know how to peel an onion, so you know, well, as you're demonstrating, you can see how what's going on. So, chuck the onion, cut it in four, and put it in the mixer. Okay. Then we need some ginger and some garlic. Okay. So here's your ginger. And you just need about, um, I, w I won't say to you how much to use. Just use it to the taste that you require, but do put some in. That's how much I've put in. And some garlic. Okay, you need about four, I like to use about three of these actually. Okay, just give it a good, um, press down hard on it, it will... Break up the garlic a little bit and it will make it easier to peel. Okay, um, yeah, so this is, you know, like what I want to get across is real Indian food cooking at home, um, making everyday dishes. Right, so that's your ginger, garlic, and onion. And uh, one of these chilies I'm going to use, I like to, when I buy my chilies, I take the ends off. I freeze them. So chuck one chili in and then give it a whisk. Right, now while that was whizzing I put the heat on underneath the pan and um, I'm putting in uh, some olive oil. And again, just put in as much as you like. Don't put too much in. Um, and then to that, I'm going to add some salt and turmeric. So if you, can you see how much I'm putting in? So add some turmeric. So this will... Add it in, I like to add it in, just as the oil is heating up. And that was salt, and this is some um, masala, homemade masala that I make, which has cumin seeds in it, um, and various other um, spices, which I will um, show you how to make on another video. Okay. What else we put in? There's nothing else. Okay, so give that a good mix around. So you want to cook through the spices. Okay. Flavour your oil and you know just some people like to dry roast their spices. I like to cook them in the actual oil itself. Now that hasn't taken long, has it? And that's going to be the base of your curry. And it also is the base of all Indian curries that I make. Right. While that is heating up, I'm going to take one large potato and peel it. Wash it and chop it. And you come back here, you can see the oil is now, um, you can see that the oil is beginning to heat up, it's forming like some bubbles. You can smell the spices in there. Okay, 
So we're multitasking because this is all about saving time. You can cut your potatoes to any size you like. I like to cut them fairly small because they won't take that long to cook them. Okay, so that's your potatoes ready to go in. You know this is ready now because you can see some smoke coming from it. Now turn the gas down. Put in. mixture of onions, ginger and garlic and one chilli, all in one go. Okay. Mix it around. The gas is on now, the lowest heat that you can have it on. Okay. Okay. It's a really good mix. Get all the flavour of the oil and the spices. Coat your onion, ginger and garlic mixture. Okay. Level it so it all cooks equally. Okay. And then put something on top because the steam is going to help it cook quicker. Just leave a little gap <coughs> for the steam to escape. Right, coming back here now. because my children don't like bits. So that's ready to go in when the onions need it. Right, now, next. We're going to cut the cauliflower. you cut a cauliflower. Bring it to the sink. Chop off all of the excess leaves. The most innermost leaves, like the baby leaves, you can um, cook. Okay, like these little ones. You could have added them to the onions when they went into the um, mixer, or you can leave them whole, they look quite pretty. Right. Let's have a look what's going on here. You, can, you know when this is done, because all the water would have left the vegetables, the onions, the garlic and ginger, so there would be no more steam coming out. And then what will start to happen is you will see more of the oil. At the moment, you're just seeing a lot of mush, basically, and steam. Okay, now let's put these potatoes in here, because they're ready to go in. They're ready, they're chopped up and ready. Okay. So, this is a... Um, a recording which has not been stopped and started so you can see 
But so far, how long is it has is the recording? Five minutes. Within five minutes we've done all this. And we haven't prepared anything in advance. Okay, now the cauliflower has got a core. Oh you've seen all I did was I cut through the core. Now I'm just gonna gently break up whatever breaks up. Okay, these leaves look lovely, they can go in like that. Okay. Now, again, the potatoes are quite small. I like to cut my cauliflower quite small because I don't want to be cooking it for ages and ages. I want it to cook quickly and obviously the smaller it is without uh, it being too small, otherwise it will just break apart. And the whole beauty of a cauliflower curry is that you have whole bits in it, not mushy, mushed up cauliflower. Okay, so we're going to cut these as small as we can. And I'm not going to wash it, there's nothing wrong with it, but by washing it, it's just going to add extra water to it and that will also make it mushy as well. This core, right in the middle, is nice and soft and that again, you can use. Okay? Back in the olden days, they used to use as much of this as they could and feed you know, as many people as they could with it. That's that. Right, so we have our cauliflower, we have our potatoes ready to go in. We've tried to make them all the same size. Now, what's happening here? You say that's ready? Probably. You do? No, it's not ready yet. Okay. Again, because we don't want too much moisture. We want the moisture in the beginning to help it cook as quickly as possible, but then we want the moisture to leave as well. So now, this time round, I'm not going to put the lid on. see the oil now can you see there can you see that though yeah can you see that's ready now the oil is you can see the oil there's no more um, water so now the actual onions and ginger and garlic are getting cooked through okay give that a good mix now do we have the tomato let's have the tomato Oh, 
from the mixture. in the mixture. Okay. Those holes have appeared because the last of the moisture is um, coming through. So when they appear, just level it off one more time. Can you smell the tomatoes? Yeah, and are you happy with the consistency that it is? Are you? Are you? Yes. Okay, right now, potatoes or cauliflower first? Tell me, which one do you want? Cauliflower, because they're bigger in size. Let's put the cauliflower in. Remember, we're going to mix this once. And then we can you see all the steam straight away? There's the, loads of steam. That's the cauliflower beginning to cook. Coat that all up. Level it off and put the lid on. Yeah? Have a look at how, how high we're going to do the gas. We're going to do it this much, okay? Slow to moderate, not really slow, just not medium, between slow and medium. We're going to put the lid on tight. In fact, I'm just going to put this on even lower and we're just going to leave it now. Can you have a look at the gas? Now, what time is it? It is 20 minutes it took for us to get to that place. Now we're just going to let it cook for about five minutes and we're going to have a look at it. But we're going to cook it very slowly so there's not going to be much done in five minutes. So we're going to pause here and we'll be back soon. Ta! 